What's up everybody, Frank Veltkirio, welcome to the channel, I hope you're doing fantastic today. So, where are we at? First of all, happy Sunday everybody. You see Johnny Depp right there getting a new tattoo on his wrist, and that's uh, kind of a, seems like a normal procedure for a guy that has many tattoos, right? But let's just see for a second and then we talk about this he's moving on he's literally moving on and he's making sure to remind himself that this is the moment he's moving on with this tattoo let's talk about it but before let's go bomb <laughs> You saw right there, like, the tattoo artist is still applying some stuff on the wrist that he was uh, getting this nice, right there, this nice arrow on the, on the wrist, and it's a broken arrow. So, of course, we needed to go and check what was this about. This is a post also Johnny Depp in Stockholm, just a little lull on uh, before in between shows, enjoying his life. Honestly, I have to say this guy looks better right now. I'm not talking about vanity. I'm talking about like He looks like he's kind of really getting into a better energy and it reflects on his face You know literally it seems like a person that it's healing from a long long process of being doing wrong that literally probably alters your freaking cells to that level so it seems like you know Johnny Depp is also the type of kind of poetic, romantic type of guy that needs maybe, you know, expressing through poetry, symbolism, in this case, symbolism through tattoos. But again, the tattoo, the broken arrow, this symbol of a new start, a new hope, at least what this is what it says, it signifies after burying the battle axe. So re literally a reminder of watching yourself and go like, okay, this is the moment where I accepted that I'm moving on. I'm moving on from that story, from that past, from them me of the past. I'm burying it. It's past. Let it go. I'm just embracing, opening up to a new hope, a new start in life. So, honestly, that it's very powerful because it's incredibly relatable. This can be extended to anybody of us that it's going through, that has been going through some stuff, and you just accept the moment of telling yourself, okay, now from this moment forth, I just want to live a different life. I want to move on into a different moment, a different chapter. Uh, very powerful, powerful things, because you know all our lives are temporary, so it's a quite uh, necessary to be able to recognize those different moments in our own existence, embrace them, and move forward. I find also quite remarkable that I didn't, I didn't know this the full story, but a friend of JD, a good friend of JD, Josh Rickman, uh, described the moment the actor received the news. They were watching it actually in the hotel room in London, and it says like, Depp was in London where he was staying with the entourage in a UK hotel room and one of Johnny Depp's close friend, Josh Rickman, has revealed the atmosphere in the room at the moment the verdict was passed. Rickman said that as the verdict was passed, his friend and staff cried and screamed around him and another important detail he added was that he faced time with Robert Downey Jr. and Johnny, and, and Johnny Depp, um, uh, both of of them have been friends for a quite a long time and uh, apparently uh, Rickman said that Robert Downey Jr. told uh, uh, JD on the FaceTime chat John thank God it's over so quite powerful stuff also reminds yourself you know kind of tells us how much people behind the scene knew about this what was happening probably the energy the atmosphere the truth the mannerism of the relationship in between those two people so probably they knew much more things were much more obvious than uh, we know now because we have seen it after six weeks also we had this kind of peek into the behavior of those people and we learned and what we learned so it's interesting to see that probably most likely behind the scene this was known for a very long time 
So Johnny Depp is moving on, rightly so, with the right energy, with the right attitude. Uh, and uh, that's great. That's really great. Whether or not he will be in the new Sherlock Holmes, I don't know. Because uh, there are rumors, but in the cast and crew here of Sherlock Holmes 3, there are only listed four actors at the moment, of obviously including uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. There is the producer, is Susa Downey, is the wife of Robert Downey Jr., but nobody else at the moment. So that remains to be seen. Probably they don't want to spoil it if it's the case, or maybe it's just not there. We will see what happens. It's great that friends are supporting each other, and uh, JD truly is moving forward, is moving on with his life. So good on him. Thank you so much, guys, for those suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. And uh, please subscribe if you want to. It's free. I really appreciate that, that, your comments. I'll see you later in another video. Take care. What? What?